Hey, it's Carrie. I'm at 917 Elm. Um, this is centrally located. Great school district. Um, affordable homes if you end up deciding you want to stay and you like the neighborhood. These are just some of the other homes in the area. Um, and obviously you can see the picture of the front. Um, landscaping well maintained. Everything looks good. I like this one. Um, so let's go in and take our little tour. Right, we're walking off to the left. Small little formal drawing room or if you want to make it an office. Um, nothing too special going on in there. If we go back, uh, powder room is right here. Just a small little powder. Nice fireplace. All hardwood floors on the first floor. Kitchen is quite lovely. Stainless steel appliances, oak cabinets. Um, nice backsplash. What I like about it is a mom standing here, toddlers toddling around over here, hopefully not by the fireplace, but you can, you know, be preparing dinner and keep an eye on what's going on. You go out to the back, and this is great. You could have, um, you know, your eating space here, and then maybe like a sand and water table for baby to play at once he's standing. Uh, there's a gate here, so he can stay confined, which is a huge thing with these stairs, but look at this. Backyard, there's a shed for storage, completely private. There are other homes behind there, but this tree berm gives you complete privacy. You can kind of see the neighbors there, but I'm really digging this backyard as a mom, especially with a boy. Um, it's a little wet out. We've had a lot of rain in the last week, but it just makes everything green and lush. So continuing on, this is just a coat closet, dining space. It's small, everything's kind of contained, but if it's just the two of you and a baby, I don't think you need a ton of space. Again, very nice, these hardwood floors, let's see if I can figure out how you can see. They look fairly re newly refinished, they're very nice. This is a two step down into your laundry room, so no going in the basement. And then I love this little area for storage, coats, boots, baby bag, garage, pretty standard two car garage. You can fit two cars in there for sure. And then this is just another entrance to outside, um, out to the back. So there's that. And then we'll travel upstairs. I like that the stairs also are in the back of the home. So if you're like me, you gotta run downstairs and grab something from the laundry and you're half dressed, nobody can see you. Um, bedroom A, decent size. Shared hall bath. It's in good shape. It's not um, updated or anything like that, but it's definitely, I'm not seeing anything wrong. Bedroom B, again, a decent size, and lots of natural light. I don't have any lights on up here. Um, this is what I would think would be the nursery. It's baby blue. And I don't know if you can see these curtains. You can obviously change this out, but they're kind of Disney baby curtains, but you know, obviously you can change that. Um, with a ceiling fan and a remote control, so you can sneak in. What I like about this here, I'm trying to show you. I'm not doing a very good multitasking. You can turn the lights on and off from outside the room. So if the baby likes to go to sleep with the fan on, but then you want to turn the fan off, you could be outside the room. Just a thought. Linen closet. Doosh, nothing special. Nice, solid oak doors. This is the master. It's not huge. Um, where's the light in here? Oh, here we go. Not huge, but again, you've got two, two to three other bedrooms, you know, with the baby's room. Um, master closet is a walk-in. You can, you know, do shoes and handbags up there and then hanging clothes and more hanging clothes. And then master bath. The tub, shower, skylight, again, on lots of natural light. Um, okay, so then we'll go back downstairs. Let me turn this light off. So this one's listed at 2600 Um Mike, remind me to ask you, um, or maybe you can just answer if you're watching this, are they gonna pay the whole year up front or are they paying month to month? Because maybe if we can get them to pay two to three months up front, um, you can um, get it down to 2,500. So anyhow, now we're in the basement, tile, 
little kitchenette. So if you're having guests over, that's just water shut off over there. If you're having guests over, they can come get their own coffee in the morning. Storage area. So lots of storage. Um, you know, shell built-in shelving. So it looks like somebody needs to still do some moving out. And then this is just a big open space. You could have another family room or, it, again, you could put a bed down here and make this somebody's entire living space down here. Say if you were going to have an au pair or, you know, a family member come and stay with you for three or four months, there's a shower and everything down here. So it is um, set to go for somebody for a long-term stay, which I think, again, knowing your family is going to come and they're not going to just come for a long weekend. They're going to want to stay and that'll kind of keep you a little separate from them. So anyhow, this is 917 Elm. I, I can't find anything wrong with it. I think it's a perfect place for you to, um, but I'm going to go look at, uh, two more today. I had three scheduled. We're going to go see, um, 351 Redbud, 994 Greensboro, um, Morningside, their tenants are moving out today, so they said no, um, but I like this one. Okay, we'll check you at Redbud.